use it every day. Really? I'm one of those old school people that carries a planner, writes everything. Wait, first of all, can you even read what I wrote here? I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Look at that beautiful writing. Chicken scratch. It says, Jenny Milkowski works that up with eight. There this is go. why people need cursive lessons, I'm telling you. Cursive making a comeback in some classrooms nationwide, particularly in the South. Now, according to the Southern Regional Education Board, students in Louisiana and Arkansas study cursive through 12th grade. And now Virginia, they're hopping on board. However, some other schools across the country, they are just cutting out cursive altogether. Here in California, it just depends which school district you live in. Do you think cursive should be taught in schools? You can let me know at CBS 8 dot com slash vote or you can use our news 8 app. The California Department of Education says the schools should decide if they want to keep teaching cursive. Some school districts have cut out cursive altogether and just teach keyboarding. We actually visited Lisa Lee's third grade class in Poway. Lee's teaching her students cursive in hopes of giving them their cursive license soon. Mm -hmm. She also shared her insight on why she thinks cursive might just be a thing of the past. For some kids learning cursive in third, it's so easy for them. Some kids it's a little bit harder and that's why like I actually teach strokes completely out of order but it takes the time away from teaching writing, teaching reading which are crucial you know curriculum things that we need to cover as well as math and social studies science so I can't devote as much time to teaching letters. It doesn't seem like a priority some argue cursive is a lost art that needs to retire. Others say it's used in some everyday things like signing bills and contracts. It also helps with fine motor skills and memory. Okay, the Constitution was written in cursive. How y'all gonna, gonna read the Constitution? I feel like you gotta learn basic math even though we have calculators. Yeah, right. So you have to learn how to write because you can't always rely on a keyboard. You have to know the how to write cursive. The founding fathers didn't have this iPad. <laughs> It doesn't matter. If they did, they would have just been, yep, we're oh, done with this. Oh, I see. I write in cursive <laughs> every single day. Yeah. Hey, that's like you have to you have to be able to use right. your hands. But you don't have three kids in school, and I do, and I think that they should be spending their time teaching them the right, the reading, the math, the things that are so competitive right now to get them to the next level. I think level. it's so sad that they'll never be able to read the postcard that you send them from like Mexico. <laughs> you know what son, I mean? <laughs> You're gonna I type that on this up? long journey. <laughs> Another thing that's outdated. Postcards. No. I shall send money to your dorm room. Love letters. Signed, father. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when you do write in cursive, suddenly you develop this accent yes. too. So, Apparently, yeah, we so. do not want to deprive children no, of that. Keep yeah. cursive. Because keep cursive, cursive. cursive. <laughs> was from 200 years ago, and that's how they talked. All right. But my son's so angry uh, in third grade, and he is learning cursive. So Good. Yeah. Maybe it just depends on the classroom and the teacher. I just like scribble my name on a check. That's about the only time I ever. <laughs> you do write that. checks like still? Uh, and that's also ancient. If <laughs> yeah. you ask me. Who so are what's you? Happening with cursive? Wait. I think this is, a, this is a lost art. Eric and I are like on opposite totally. sides of the spectrum yeah. with this story. Eric thinks cursive should go away, but yet he's still writing checks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're supposed to ask me what my cursive looks like. This is what it looks like. Let is it good see. enough? I can't see. I know it's hard to that tell in the looks camera. Like scribbling. But I'm also one of the <laughs> it is scribbling. I'm also one of those that carries a planner and writes in cursive every day. So on that note, cursive is making a comeback in some classrooms nationwide. Lawmakers in West Virginia just passed a bill that would require schools to implement a cursive writing requirement here in California. Well, it kind of just depends on which school district you live in. What do you think? Should it be taught in schools? Let me know at cbs8.com slash vote or you can check out our News 8 app. So the California Department of Education says the schools should decide on their own if they want to keep teaching cursive. Some school districts have cut out cursive altogether and just teach, you know, keyboarding. Typing. Mm -hmm. Typing, if you want to sit, call it that. We visited Lisa Lee's third grade class in Poway. Lee is teaching her students cursive in hopes of giving them their cursive license soon. She also shared her insight on why she thinks cursive just might be a thing of the past. For some kids learning cursive in third, it's so easy for them. Some kids it's a little bit harder and that's why like I actually teach strokes completely out of order but it takes the time away from teaching writing, teaching reading which are crucial you know curriculum things that we need to cover as well as math and social studies science so I can't devote as much time to teaching letters. It doesn't seem like a priority. Baker. No, that's it. That, this, is, this is my signature. All right, Eric just wrote his signature. You'll see. Some argue cursive is a lost art that needs to retire. Other states used in some everyday things like signing bills, 
contracts, mm. reading the Constitution, in Eric's case, writing a lot of checks. It also helps <laughs> with fine motor skills and memory. You know, when you have three kids, you do write a lot of checks. I was going to say Especially that. to the school money district. Going out of uh, Let's see. That's not so true. So this is just scribbles. You can't see it. It's a picky. It's you don't need to see it. It's really ugly. I guess it's not so much, it's not so much that I'm anti-cursive. It's that if the kids have time in class, I'd rather them... Do what? So pretty. I'd rather what do you want them, them to learn do? to type. My kid's learning the home row right now, and I just feel like he's going to be using computers so much more growing up but than he remember would be. When I was not letter, oh, this is scribbling. Martha. Remember when we were in school, we learned both? Mm -hmm. You know, you can do both. Yeah. Yeah. I do think I got more out of my typing class in high school, which, by the way, was taught by the football coach. Oh, <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. I don't remember typing class. I remember learning how to play Oregon Trail. Oh, yeah. I yeah, that, that, I mean, Oregon Trail? That. Yeah. Oregon. Well, Oregon. Where were you? Oregon. Trail? Oh, I say Oregon. In the Midwest, we call Oregon. Oregon. Trail. <laughs> yes, really? The Oregon. Trail. I can vouch that for seems you on to be that. more of a problem than anything we've discussed this morning. <laughs> oh, you've got uh, cursive fever, but you also have Aztec fever right now. I'm very embarrassed. Right Oregon. Now. <laughs> we were talking about Aztec fever, so I went to SDSU to find out how much students know about the team. I wonder what they Or how say. they can yes, pronounce Oregon. Oregon. Oregon.